Make sure you stand till the end guys, we'll share common mistakes people make that can cost you thousands of dollars in damages. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Ford Escape, that generation that you see here from year 2013 to year 2019. If you have one of those, you have a problem where the uh, rear view camera does not work, we'll explain in this video today what can easily cause that. Top things that we see here, the garage, which fuses you need to check that control the rear view camera, it could be super simple fix. We'll explain where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way do not waste money and time. Why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stand till the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. If you have that generation Ford Escape from year 2013 to 2019, this specifically is pre-facelifted version, this is the facelifted version. There will be some minor differences, we'll talk about that, but we'll make a video about every single possible fuse, relay, why we do that. Let's say guys, you're down the road in the middle of nowhere, you need to find where the fuse for fuel pump or engine starter is located, or relay for radiator fan, you can just search that on our channel, watch the video for less than one or two minutes find out where it is replace it in your back on the road we do that to save you money guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we guys do that because our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can and we guys have more than 12,000 free repair videos on our youtube channels as well that can save you more than thousands of dollars in future repairs if you guys need to buy any parts tools fuses relays at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money and time we will share the links in the description of the video below for your convenience make sure you stay until the end so guys now uh, for the rear view camera if it doesn't work we will demonstrate on this generation for the skateboard you need to check this is the same generation this is the model before the facelift this is the model after the facelift but it should work for both first we need to check guys up to three different fuses for the rear view camera in two different fuse boxes uh, where they're located the first one we need to open the hood if you open the hood on the driver's side here you have that cover open it and underneath is the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one before we continue guys let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays so let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses fuses not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good sometimes they may seem perfectly fine you think it's a good fuse you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do test your fuse find out it's bad replace it fix your problem so we will have a video how to test a fuse okay different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys we're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so rear view camera fuses where you can expect to find them one fuse in that fuse box two more in a different fuse box oh and by the way if you need to buy any fuses relays parts to use at a good price quick shipping that way do not waste money and time we'll put a link in the description of the video below check it out you can save quite a bit of money guys and if we come here now if you come right here what we need to check right here uh, we need to check fuse number 28 that 10m fuse that's the one that you will need to check after that you need to go ahead and open the trunk in the trunk on the right side you have that cover pull it out and underneath you have that fuse box layout here we need to check two more fuses specifically guys okay and we're talking about fuse number 29 right here that is one of the fuses and the other one is fuse number 30 okay all these fuses will need to be checked other things that we see that can cause the rear view camera not to work it could be a bad rear view camera they're exposed to the elements water rain dust snow salt all kind of stuff so they can fail we've seen that happen it could be even the switch where you uh, uh, put the vehicle in reverse okay if the rear backup lights do not work guys the reverse lights do not work the rear view camera will not work so it could be a bad transmission switch we've seen that happen one time and in some cases it could be where the hatch door the tailgate opens the wires go from the tailgate to the car body sometimes from opening and closing the hatch door they uh, actually they can uh, uh, break we've seen that happen one time as well but not very often most of the times it's a fuse or the camera itself hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time